Hi guys, welcome to software testing help. In today's topic, we will talk about the difference between API and web service. When we talk about API and web service, this is the one of the most confusing topic when we talk about in software testing. Uh, generally, students and professionals do get confused in interviews as well that what is the exact difference between API and web service. Although both of them looks very much similar, but there is a difference between two of them. So let's look into the difference between two of them. API versus web service. So talking about the definition of API first. API and API application programming interface API is a set of routines, data structures, object classes, protocols provided by libraries and operating system services in order to support the building of applications. So if you talk about the full form of API, it stands for apply application programming interface. Okay, so application programming interface is nothing but an interface provided to the user for the programming done behind that application because if the user is using any particular application he is not bothered about the programming so in that case an API is nothing but a set of routines data structures classes means the code that has been developed by the developer it often comes in the form of libraries like you have seen the jar files and every these are nothing but the libraries that contains the inbuilt functions defined okay so that is about an a API now talking about web service a web service is defined by the W3C as software system designed to support interoperable machine to machine interaction over a network so when we talk about web service as the definition says web service so it means it is nothing but a way of communicating between two of the machines okay connected in a network that is the reason we call it as a web okay means both of them are connected into a web or network okay so API and web service are nothing but they serve as the means of communication now web service facilitates interaction between two machines over a network so this is the main point that web service will facilitate the interaction between the machines which are connected between a network okay an api it acts as an interface between two different applications so that they can communicate with each other so an api it is nothing but a two applications should be able to interact with each other okay so it acts an interface Now talking about some introduction about an API. So an API exactly defines the methods for one software program to interact with other. So there will be some methods that are defined in API so that you can interact with one software to the other. An API generally involves calling functions from within a software program. So this is one of the uh, methodology of using an API that an API when you want to perform some function so there are some inbuilt functions available in an API you simply need to call that functions okay so being a user you are not bothered about the programming that has been done to perform that function so you are going to do nothing but use the function as an end user you will be concerned with using the function okay that is the reason it is called as interface to the application programming done when this action involves sending the data over a network web service come into the picture now when the action of communication takes place onto the network then the definition changes and then it is called as web service because the service is running on a web okay in case of web applications the API used is web based because for web applications it's mandatory that there should be communication between the network between the web so the API used is in that case will be web based means an API that is running on web now 
desktop applications such as spreadsheets that you call as excel sheets or microsoft excel and word documents like ms word use vba and com based apis which do not involve web service now it's a very good example that when you are working on your pc you are working on excel sheet you are working on ms word okay in that case apis are getting called but there is no internet connection required when you are working in excel sheet or ms word so in that case we do not involve web service because web service comes into the picture when there is only web or connection is required but for working on spreadsheet and word documents you do not require web service or web so in that case api is coming into the picture that is for desktop applications so a web service is merely an api wrapped in http now this definition says it's all that a web service is nothing but an api actually but when an api is wrapped in http because we know that http is a protocol that is used to make a communication over a network that is hypertext transfer protocol okay so an api does not always need to be web based an api consists of a complete set of rules and specifications for a software program to follow in order to facilitate interaction so it will consist of some protocols and specifications and rules in order to make an interaction okay the api can be exposed in a number of ways which include com objects dll dot h file in c c plus plus programming language jar files or rmi in java xml over http json over http so it's a very good example that if you are working in windows or if you are working in java generally jar files comes into the picture okay so jar file is nothing but a library that is consisting of all the functions that you can perform okay so that is an example of an api dll files are there that are used in windows applications so that you can perform the functionality exactly what you want okay so that is also an api dot h files that are in c and c plus plus these are also an api because you can perform you simply used to import the functions from the dot h files and from the jar files and you are using those functions now some of the major differences that will become much more clear that what is the exact difference and how can we explain the differences between api versus web service so all web services are api but the reverse is not true but all apis are not web service now there is a very hidden thing here that web service are definitely apis because web service are also performing some functionality but the difference is the web service is over network and api is not over the network so we can say that web service are always api because these are performing some functions but all apis are not web services the reverse is not true because when an api comes into the picture it does not means it's a web service it is simply means it is performing some application functions that is application programming interface but it becomes a web service when an api is exposed onto the net that is bit in network okay so as i told you that like if you are working on an excel sheets or spreadsheets then you are using api you are not using web service okay so if you are using google search okay let's uh, if you are performing some google search like you are searching automation testing so in that case a web service is called that brings the response of the search result from the google okay and it gives you the results by performing the search through web service okay so web service might not perform all the operations that an api would perform because generally we like to keep web service light we do not include all the possible methods okay so generally it might be that my web service might not perform all the operation that api would perform 
a web service uses only three styles of use soap rest and xml for communication whereas api may use any style for communication now generally when we talk about web service there is a protocol or there is an architecture by which we design web services okay so the most common or the most widely used and stable way of making a web service is soap and rest okay so these are the most common ways of building a web service a web service always needs a network for its operation whereas an api does not need a network for its operation so again reminding this point that web service when you heard the term it stands for when you are working on a network okay now web service are a simple interface using http protocol okay so these are also the interface to the programming but they are using the http protocol web service can be developed by one company used by other company hosted by a third company okay because web service is simply that when you are exposing something onto the network or onto the web so when you are exposing something anybody can use that okay so it might be that you have developed a particular web service and you want to host your web service somewhere so that users can use your web service for free to get the response okay like uh, there are some apis that will let you know the weather by putting up the pin code or zip code okay so if you want to check the weather of illinois let's suppose in us then you simply have to type the zip code for there and it will give you the exact weather so there are some web services that are available online so what's in the name web services why the name has been given so it's all hidden in the name that web means http protocol okay services means request and response so web services is a stateless protocol we send a request we receive a response that is we are finished that is the only role of web service that it will first of all will perform on http protocol we call it as service because the dictionary meaning of service sim simply means that if someone is requesting to you to perform some function then you will in response do that function that is you are providing service to that okay so web service is a stateless protocol we send a request we receive a response that is we are finished only this is the functionality that web service can perform now for an example facebook api like program add friend program login program so when you like some page or when you send a friend request for add friend or when you perform login functionality by entering your username and password into the facebook application even when you perform a chat operation okay or even you perform some poke operation to your friend so there is a hidden functionality or hidden program is there okay so you might have noticed that sometimes in the url it comes like http://facebook.com/api/poke from poker is equal to i'm just keeping this uh, testing data 123 and 2 poker is equal to 234 so if you notice here you would have just made user 123 poke user 234 APIs that are accessed over the web are called web services and use the HTTP protocol. So, if you look into this, this is an web service of Facebook. Okay, if you go to the Facebook developer section, there are some APIs that are exposed or that you can use. Okay, so here it's saying that from poker is equal to one to three means you are the poker who want to poke your friend. two poker means your friend is equal to id you have to provide the id of your friend okay so you can change the id accordingly to your friend okay let's suppose you want to poke a different friend then you will change the id here okay so 
this particular line is telling to you that you are calling a web service because HTTP is involved here okay but behind this web service there is an API as I've told you that API is nothing but a library of the functions so behind that when you hit this particular URL an API will get hit an API will cal do some calculations programmatically that the developer has written and will bring you the response whether the person has been poked by this uh, particular web service or not okay so as it says APIs that are accessed over the web are called web services and web services use the HD protocol as mentioned okay so there is a slightly difference between API and web service but generally interviewers ask this question to check whether the person has the in-depth knowledge about these concepts or not okay guys so that was about the today's video we talked about the difference between API and web service so that was about the today's video for more interesting videos related to software testing keep watching softwaretestinghelp.org thank you